day three. What up, peeps? So if you missed the last video, you should definitely go check that out. But this is Cody from Pink Gorilla, Yo. and we are on a game hunting road trip. And today we are in Salt Lake City, Utah, Salt Lake City. Layton, and Ogden. Yes, so we have a couple, couple different cities we're hitting up, but lots of stops. And uh, you've been to a lot of these stores before? Oh, yeah. Okay, but I have not, so I'm excited. We're at the first one, Game Peddler. Let's go inside, hopefully find some awesome stuff. If you did not see the first one, I want to remind you guys that this is all being streamed live on Twitch and Cody's buying for viewers, which is awesome. So yeah, I think by the time this video goes up, we might be very close to being done or done with the trip. Yeah, but lit, but yeah. so we've already done Seattle and Portland. Now we're here and then we're going to be doing Las Vegas and LA, potentially Phoenix. We'll see what happens. Cool. All right, let's, let's go. So that place was pretty cool. He wouldn't allow filming, unfortunately. I did sneak one clip, <laughs> um, which you guys probably saw. He had a really cool, like Super Mario Brothers, like rubber mat on the floor. He said he's had it for 20 years. So it was like a vintage one. It was really dirty and used, but he said it wasn't for sale. <laughs> it's a little loud out here because we're right on the road, but what'd you pick up? I picked up a PS1 controller. We always sell our PS ONEs, little minis, uh, with the matching controller. So yep. I was like, okay, these are always needed, and it's in really great shape, and it's vacuum sealed like a like a turkey. So <laughs> pretty nice. Pretty good price too. Yeah. And then we got a uh, Pokemon Puzzle League that is appears sealed, but it's not. It's just in really really great shape. So uh, we're gonna pull the seal off, let Cooper keep it, <laughs> pretend one of his games is over sealed. <laughs> I'm gonna put the plastic on my copy of Pokemon Puzzle. Sure. And then here's what I picked up. Pac-Man for NES, Shingen the Ruler, Mickey Mascapade, Arquisa's Ring, and Wizardry. And Wizardry, like the Pokemon, has the plastic on it. It's just opened at the top. We also got Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team and Aquaman for GameCube. A couple of these are for myself. The rest will be for the store. It's super loud out here, so let's get to the next spot. Hey, you drink that ghost. <laughs> so we are getting early access to Minus World. I guess the owner was in the chat and said we could come early, so this is pretty awesome. Hey, nice to see you, man. Thanks, Thank you so much. Yeah. Have I been here since you got the bigger space? You were in here right with Was it right when we moved in here? Maybe this, oh, that does look familiar, actually. Yeah, okay. I moved things around and added a ton of stuff since then. That's really cool. The, uh, and the, the Adam West World. autograph? The Nintendo World Championships, that's mine. Yeah? From, from competing? From competing, yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Adam West was from E3. <laughs> Yeah, this is awesome. For E3, did you just go as like the store or what? No, this was before I owned the store. So I would make a, I, I went through the first E3. So. Good. Uh, yeah, the very first one, I made up a company. Damn, look at all this Neo Geo stuff. Oh, really? <laughs> That's crazy. I'm just going to walk around first and then I'll start shopping. Oh, look at that. Look at that Super Nintendo section. He's going for a full set. About 200 of Super Nintendo. Yeah. With what we picked up so far, I think I'm down to 189 now. Oh, this is so cool. I love the carpet. I almost did something like this in the game room, I'm not kidding. I looked at it. <laughs> oh, that is super cool. Kyle will love that. Dang, this is awesome. I'm gonna do some shopping. We might try to come down for this. If you guys are gonna be in the area, you should as well. well boy, Thank you guys so much. Yeah, thanks guys. Right, yeah, so you, man. 
This place is awesome. Yeah. Favorite stop so far of the trip, for sure. Yeah. Other than Pink Grill, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna show off this one first, just because I need to get out of my way, but <laughs> we picked up a Philips CDI for one of the Twitch viewers. It's uh, $250 and it looks like it's in really great shape. Yeah, and that's it, awesome. Of course, came with this goofy ass controller <laughs> and uh, all the cables needed to play naturally. Uh, from there, what do you want to go one by one? Sure. Um, I actually picked up a ton of stuff. I'm pretty happy. I got a couple things for the store, um, but mostly stuff for me, which I'm happy Same, about. actually. <laughs> so um, for my collection, I picked up Rampart for NES. It's got, got the plastic. Got the plastic. Yeah. Missing the manual though. And I didn't see one in their tub, but it's in beautiful condition and it's a game I didn't have. And it's got that plastic on it. So you know I gotta do it. Uh, this one, I don't know if Psychotic Warrior is here currently. Psychotic Warrior, wake up. Uh, he picked <laughs> up a Golden Sun earlier. It was like $100 less than he wanted to pay. And part of that was because it was missing the manual. So we found the manual and the book and we got it for free. He just threw it in after I bought everything. So. Yeah. <laughs> what a nice guy. Super cool. Um, I did pick up a couple things for the store, like I said. Um, his prices are good, but it's not like these are half off or anything like that. These are just games that he had maybe a little under price compared to what we would sell them for. So it's just good to have them. Tony Hawk 2 for N64. We just don't get this game very often. I also grabbed a really nice condition copy of Mega Man Soccer. And then the not for resale Mario Tennis for the 64. This one is probably a condition upgrade over my copy. Oh, it's it's really, big? really clean. Yeah, it is. Um, it's on the cheaper side for a not for resale, but it is very, very nice. So I'll probably hold on to that one and sell my other one. Uh, here we got Billy the Wizard. Oh yeah, so sorry, I should preface this. this <laughs> these terrible games here are for bad game night. Uh, I played, I don't play a lot of games on stream, but I played The Bachelor on Wii and it was a big hit with everybody. <laughs> so uh, we got a couple bad games uh, in the queue. Billy the Wizard, which I have played before, uh, I would describe this game as Superman 64, but competitive and with motion controls. Oh God. <laughs> we also have The Amazing Race, I don't know what this game's like, but I just buy any like reality TV show game because that's sure to be terrible. And lastly, this was from him, <laughs> Gummy Bear's Magical Medallion. <laughs> and it looks more in depth than I would expect. So let's see how that one plays a little later. Uh, like we kind of mentioned, I did get a bunch of manuals. Um, so. <laughs> how? <laughs> what? So. Uh, little Nicky. He had the cartridge as well. I was thinking about grabbing that, but it seems like the box is the really expensive part. Um, Metal Gear Solid for Game Boy Color, um, Maru's Mission, and then uh, G.I. Joe for NES. And then the ones I needed for my boxes I already have, um, Tom and Jerry Magic Ring for GBA. Is it Kicks or Quicks? I, I would say Quicks. For Game Boy. Uh, for NES, Nintendo World Cup, Kung Fu Heroes, Alpha Mission and RBI Baseball 2. And the only Super Nintendo one I could find, even though it's the list I have the most that I need from, was Mech Warrior. And this is a weird manual. Yeah, is that like a. It's normally printed this way, so you would read it like that. But yeah. this one's printed this way. So okay, it's, I was going to say, is it it's European, printed... but obviously not. It's not Super Famicom. Uh, I got three copies of Wall Street Kid. That brings me, I'm getting very close to 200 copies total. <laughs> Uh, they pulled aside three for me right away. I appreciate that very much. And then this one I got for myself. It's a uh, Leighton Catrio. I love the Professor Leighton games. Honestly, this game kind of sucks. Uh, it's like a watered down version of Leighton with a lot more talking. Less puzzles, easier puzzles, more talking. But I noticed this is the deluxe edition, which I had never seen before. So maybe it has all the like DLC. The Leighton games have this cool thing where every week you get new puzzles for free but you have to download them okay or else you don't get them and that service is down now so i'm hoping that's what's on here <laughs> um but i'll find out one day um and then real quick just the empty box i got was kid clown and crazy chase feels like there's not even a manual in here so i might have to add that manual to my list but uh this is also in like ridiculously good condition so yeah, nice. pretty awesome uh we got atari games oh yay <laughs> dolphin has a shark bite in it but uh we've been this has been a like white whale of the trip or a pink dolphin rather and uh we finally found it uh let's see we got star wars the arcade game which i had no idea was so spendy 55 bucks 
And then for my Super Nintendo set, I grabbed WWF WrestleMania, the arcade game. I also grabbed Emmett Smith football. Surprisingly, this has been really hard for me to find on eBay. Um, at least for a decent price. It seems like the game goes for 50 bucks. Like all the sold listings are 50, but when I'm searching for it, the cheapest is 120. And I'm just like, I don't care if it's outlet money. I'm not spending that much. How many more do you have? Uh, small pile here. Okay, you go. Uh, real quick, we got a, a goofy Game Boy color. Kiwi, the best color in my opinion. Yellow, a fine color, and teal, lame. But it's a- uh... <laughs> It's tropical edition. <laughs> yeah, tropical wild berry flavor. Uh, should I fly through mine? Are you about done? I only have two left. Oh, okay. Uh, this one we picked up for a Twitch viewer, Outrun 2019. It looks like it's in great shape. Manual's probably in there. Uh, we also have, oh yeah, they always put stickers on the front if the manual's not there, so it definitely is. Uh, we got Skitchin for the 360, uh, the inline skate game. Uh, Tony Hawk, Pro Skater, American Wasteland, uh, Serious Sam, and lastly, Cobra Command. Kind of just some random cheap ones, but people want them. Those are all for Twitch viewers. You said Skitchin was for the 360. I did? <laughs> yeah. Whoops. <laughs> My last two. I'm so happy that I found this one in particular because this is one that I, I've said I try to find stuff mostly in person because it's more fun, but I have been searching for a few here and there on eBay. Um, and this is one that I've searched for multiple times and I just can't find for a good price. That's Super Widget. Atlas title. Congrats. Um, and then... Sorry, they're complaining they can see. <laughs> the big boy one though. Yeah. Home Improvement for Super Nintendo. Do you this mind is, opening that for a second? Yeah, this I'd is, a, to show for some reason, that. a rare game. Uh, it was 340, which is almost exactly price turning. So that's also a plus because a lot of times when you find the more expensive stuff, it's always a little over, which I'm fine with that. Uh, but you mind if I see that for one yeah. second? I'm sure a lot of you guys know what I'm about to show off, but uh, in case you don't, it has one of the best instruction manuals of any game. It's very thin. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. All right, that was a great stop. Yeah. Love that place. Yeah, this is uh, always, always awesome. You know where our next stop is? I believe it is Numsco, but I'll double check. Um, I'll double check the Google Maps. Unless Boltzilla, you know. On to the next. We're at, at a mall now. Oh, that's cool. Oh, hello. Giant Kratos statue. That is awesome. This is just like a clothing store, but <laughs> um, that's pretty cool. So we're heading to Entertain Mart, which is in here in the mall, and I, I think uh, there was a GameStop. So hopefully that means more awesome retro games at cheap prices. We just talked to one of the guys that works there. He said this is for sale and it's two grand. So if you are local and you want a statue for what I think is a decent price, um, there you go. <laughs> I've actually never seen this one before out of all the you know, pictures and everything I've seen in the kiosk group. I've never seen that Kratos one. So I gotta get this kiosk Yeah, I'll invite you to it. But yeah, someone come and buy that. That's awesome. We found it. Let's see what we can find in here. I'm probably not gonna film too much in here because there's a lot of people, but this is what it is. What? So we didn't find anything at Entertain Mart, but there's a parrot in here, a toucan. That is so awesome. Look at him. He's not moving much now. There he goes. He's real, see? He's scratching an itch. That's about our baby <laughs> sloth interaction, $80. You want to interact with a baby sloth? Not particularly, <laughs> but that toucan's calling him. Look at him. Oh, that's so cool. Definitely did not expect to see that just in the mall. Let's go outside and look at him. <laughs> there he is. Sorry about the glare, guys. Look at him. Oh my god. <laughs> for all the sloth footage guys, but this is so cool. Did not expect to see this. Look at him eating the lettuce. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> He's like, give me the rest of it. <laughs> All right, time for time for a quick like snack slash lunch, I guess. Cody's walking around to see if he wants something else. Well, we we're heading to the next game store and we missed our exit, so we took the next one. But there's an aerospace museum, and they have a penny press here. And uh, if you guys saw the previous day, um, Cody's been collecting those and. He's trying to get one at like, you know, every every city that we visit. So we're here to grab that. So I'll do a little bit of filming, not too much. This isn't a plane watching video, but still kind of cool to see. He's getting something out of the trunk and then we'll head in there and get the pennies. And then we're going to a store called Numskull or Numskulls, something like that. A 7F Corsair 2. It's the name of my power system. <laughs> That one's got a nose. Crush it. All right, we got our pennies. We're out of here. And here we are at Numbskull. <sighs> it's so hot, guys. I'm freaking dying of heat exhaustion. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. I think she's here for doom. Oh, this place is pretty awesome. Got some gash ponds. GameCube kiosk, that's the one I have at home. Some arcade machines. Cruising Exotica, some arcade one-ups. Oh, I also have that PlayStation sign. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I definitely don't have one of these. like little cake topper birthday things. Oh, what is that? ROM hack. I like this cabinet. Yes. I was thinking to grab an ocarina. It's like something. That one? Oh, yeah. It's a little beat up. But something I want to have infinity of at TwitchCon. Yeah. It's not the dash one. Yes. <laughs> I <love it. laughs> so sad. Everything beautiful is pretty. Like even the <gasps> Don't touch it. That's why I wear gloves. We have those white gloves in back. It's got flux all over. Yes. It's beautiful. And even that too. That's I don't I don't Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> oh no. Alright, it's five hundred now. <laughs> So at this stop, this is what I picked up. They are nice enough to separate this manual out from a complete game for me. <laughs> I just needed that. Kyle got Fighter Destiny 2. I got three more 3DS games for the collection and a variant, the big box of where <laughs> time is carbon San Diego. The special bit with that is it comes with the encyclopedia. But this one actually doesn't, so I gotta find that. If you guys have an encyclopedia for that, let me know <laughs> what you get. King Arthur's World, manual I'm missing for a one out for sale. Crew Ball, but just a teeny bit of damage there. But who the heck cares when it looks that good on the inside? Ooh. We also got a Mega Man, uh, Dr. Wily's Revenge, Danky Kane Country, and an Ocarina of Time. And uh, nice. oh, 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 best of all, <laughs> Baby Caterpie. <laughs> to go along with this Caterpie. All right, so what's our next stop? Uh, our next stop, Gamers Asylum, that's it. Yeah. Gamers Asylum. Sounds insane. Let's go. 
a little bit of a detour. There's a pawn shop right here, but right next door is Gray Whale, which they have some games too. So after this, Gamers Asylum. Cody's getting this Wii because there's a game in there. We're gonna see what that is later. And then he's getting this. I'm excited to see what the game is. We love playing that game in, in, with the videos. Yeah. <laughs> curious if there's any way we can... Uh... Oh, just the next door we go to. I bet they'll let us Yeah, right, right, right next door. Gray yeah. Whale. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Gamer Asylum. Gamer Asylum, okay, okay. Um, just the Fighter's Destiny right there. Picking that one up for a friend. Cody found a couple things. I'm just grabbing this for Kyle today. Roll with this one. We finally made it to Gamers Asylum. This place is freaking huge. It's two stories. This is gonna be awesome. The car horn sounds so wimpy. stickers Ooh, I think I just got that one oh. manuals to look through oh my god that's on my list oh no manual that's a tough choice Whoa, look at that. He is a Ninja Turtle. $1,500 Ninja Turtle statue with all the Spirit Turtles. Marked down from 1605. Oh, I didn't even notice the Spirit Turtle. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a bunch in these cabinets too. He, did he switch to like a black uh, eye band? It looks purple to me. So that's Donatello, the latest of the Turtles. <laughs> You can get a little one like this for 210, or you can get the big one for 1500. Oh, sweet. From Watchmen? This is pretty freaking cool. Oh my god, damn, look at this. There it is, the last Ronin it's called, I guess. This, just this comic book section is like bigger than some of the stores we've been to. <laughs> We haven't even gone upstairs yet. It's about the last surviving Ninja Turtle. Yeah, but who is it? His name's Jeff. <laughs> oh, cool. Dang, this place is huge. The Pokemon banners are really cool. Where did the rare case come? I'll take the Pikachu one. Here we go. Shining Raichu. Neo Destiny first. I can't even see him. He's being covered. <laughs> but he's 500 bucks. This card is worth as much as your whole your whole uh, Captain Commando game. <laughs> Charizard Delta species. Their price tags are so big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a bunch of statues here. I wonder how much Master Chief is. I doubt he's for sale. He doesn't have a price tag, but love seeing these things. That owl head is super cool too. Man, this store is crazy. Cody just bought this at the pawn shop. He got it for 36. All right, so I picked up one thing here. It was Captain Commando for the Super Nintendo. It was 536, I think, after tax, because um, it has no manual, but the box is like almost perfect condition. The cartridge is perfect. Looks like manuals go for about 300 bucks, and there's none on eBay currently, so 
I'm on the lookout for a manual for this. Good luck. But have it. if I get one for about 300, then I'm into it for eight, like 830 plus tax, whatever. And it looks like they're like nine to 950 on, according to price charting. So for this condition, as long as I can get a manual, I think it's a, a pretty good price. So I'm, I think that's I'm happy. Like your biggest last one you're missing? Definitely not. Okay. I think uh, last time I looked, um, three ninjas kickback, it was like $15,000. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, you told me about that. There's a couple like that, yeah. which like, even if we saw it, there's no way I would be able to, I would not buy it on this trip. What'd you get? Well, our trip mascot has been this cater pie I picked up uh, at one of the first spots. <laughs> Uh, so we got a couple representations for them. I'll throw into people's orders. Cater pie, cater pie, cater pie, cater pie, shiny cater pie. And a little bit of character development for the trip. Our cater pie has been refusing to evolve. So we're gonna make him evolve. <laughs> At least he'll wear the mask of evolution. Congratulations, little buddy. Hopefully he'll be a Butterfree by the end. And we're back at another mall for Fun Unlimited. Rooster is Fun Unlimited. As opposed to the Just limited fun. That you might get it from other game stores. But at Rooster's, we won't even be able to contain ourselves. It's gonna get crazy. There it is. It's a buff chicken. You could also say it's a lot hard. Oh God. We're about to leave, but I forgot to film. So here you guys go. What'd you get? <laughs> I couldn't leave him behind. <laughs> Another one. Will you pull my game out so we can show that? We got it. Super guy. <laughs> I got Tempo for 32X complete. It was $9.99. <laughs> I asked if that was our tag and she said yes. So I said, I'll take it. This thing costs $5 more. <laughs> hey, you got the Chibi Robo. So we're good. Congratulations, sir. Never seen a Ninja Turtle one. <laughs> so cool. I love it. <laughs> that is so cool. Guys, if you ever see one of these for sale, let me know. Yeah, and this. My mom, she had somebody 3D scan the Amiibo, and then that guy has like some software where he made the instructions for it. So mine is like the original that my mom commissioned for the set and made. <laughs> and now here's a, now here's a copy. <laughs> How random. Yeah, whoa. They have a toad, I want that. That's crazy. Oh, the piranha plant. And Yoshi oh, and Squirrel and Charmander? The piranha plant would be dude. That's so cool. All right, guys, we are at Game Grid now. Oh, jujitsu going on in there. They're kids, so I'm not going to film. But Game Grid. Let's see if they have some games. It's got to be. I was telling him I found a Skies of Arcadia GameCube disc in a Wii one time that I like found at a pawn shop. That. <laughs> that was the best. Put your guesses in the comments. Wii Sports. Three, two, one. I like Tony Hawk. <laughs> it ain't a good game, but. <laughs> Which one is it? Proving Grand. Proving Grand. There you go. We found some good deals in there. Yeah. Uh, I found Worms 4 Mayhem. We are kind of low on like interesting original Xbox games, which is a real weird turnaround for past <laughs> years, you know? I found the Mario Paint mouse pad, and I'm pretty sure either my personal box is missing it or I have one at the store that's missing it. Banjo Kazooie, because he was only $15. I'll take it. Uh, Blaster Master for five, and then Nightmare Creatures 2, uh, disc and manual for PS1. Demolition Man, one of my favorite movies for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> but, eh. Guitar Hero Metallica for Wii and 360. Those are very hard to find. Yeah. Well, not anymore. <laughs> not for Cooper. GoldenEye 007, you can never have enough. Uh, Ratchet and Clank going commando. 
PS2 and the original SmackDown vs. Raw for PS2. His prices were so good. <laughs> yeah, for real. Final Fantasy Legend on the original Game Boy with a little plastic dust cover. A nice little gold Legend of Zelda for NES. Uh, wait. Oh, I thought I got two Tetris. Well, one Tetris. Because <laughs> why not? Metroid Prime Hunters for the DS. Kirby Adventure, $15? I think yep. You said, yeah. And then my last two, we got Lufia for Super Nintendo and Bonk's Adventure for the Turbo Graphics. Tecmo Cup Soccer. Divas on Ice. <laughs> nice, yeah. nice one to end on. <laughs> Pretty awesome. So. Yeah, that's a good haul, man. Yeah, let's get on to the next stop. After a quick 40 minute drive, we are at another game, game grid. Yeah, I think we have another game grid later, right? <laughs> Cody's picking up Medieval Games for Wii, and I'm picking up Dark Man for the Game Boy. All right, it is beginning to rain, but we are at Game Changers. Hopefully it's there's some cool stuff. Looks a little small, but looks packed. Yeah. Oh, hey. It's good to meet you. Yeah, you too. Hi, kitten. Oh, so adorable. Hi. Yeah, she'll eat better. I want you to pet her because she needs to get used to people. She's so cute. I love cats. Me too. All right, we're in kind of a rush and it's raining, so I picked up Chrono Trigger, Super Goal 2, and a Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. I picked up Black stuff. Cody got a bunch of awesome stuff, but it's raining. So, Super Scope. Uh, pa Patrick Controller, <laughs> Master System in the box. Let's go. Is this a controller? No, this is Patrick. Is this one? It's still raining out here, but we got Retro Game Vault, probably our first to, well, Either our last stop or our second to last stop. We'll see. I can't open the door with one hand, it's too heavy. I love the built in TV, it's so cool. I love that Beautiful Sega cabinet.
He's trained up. He's been bad. All right, so turns out that is actually our last stop for today. The last place we were going to go, Cody called and they don't sell video games anymore. <laughs> they just do like board games and card stuff. So uh, I didn't pick up a ton from here, but Cody did. <laughs> I got a JogCon PS1 controller. It's got the cool little like, I don't even know what you call that. The little, Jog the control? little spinner Jogger thing. Controller. <laughs> Uh, my turn. I'll go quick. Sure. Hour of Victory because I've never seen it ever. Uh, Tony Hawk Underground because I love Tony Hawk. Uh, we got Are You Smarter Than the Fifth Grader? <laughs> and uh, Wipeout Crash and whatever. Create and Crash for uh, 3DS. I got this like two pack Draw Some Games Sketch Quest and Artist. Just never seen that before. It was super cheap. Picked up a Dr. Mario 64 and Pokemon Silver and a Super Game Boy for the store. The Wii game is for me. And then lastly, for to keep as well, I got four little Animal Crossing pins. Um, they're kind of cool. Can't really see them because it's dark out here, but they're awesome. There's Hamlet. Something even more awesome, and if you guys are nice to me, maybe you'll get one of these. We got a copy here of Birthday Party Bash, and this is complete with birthday invitations. <laughs> so play your cards right. I might get one of these. And then lastly, uh, I'm sort of setting up a, a base in Vegas for uh, conventions and whatnot. And one weird thing that I'm missing, I guess I forgot when I drove everything down here, was Wii remotes. So I got a ton of Wii remotes from that guy. Um, I, I don't even remember how many, like 20 or so of Wii remotes and nunchucks. So we'll be set for a little while. Yeah, so um, I think Cody's still streaming, but I think we're going to go ahead and end the vlog. Uh, at least for today right here. We're going to pick up again tomorrow in Vegas. We have a super long drive tonight, so there's not going to be much to film. Um, so I guess in like a couple seconds here for you guys, it'll be tomorrow and we'll continue on. What up, peeps? So we are now in Vegas and we are at Broken Yoke for breakfast. Yeah? Yeah. We're I'm excited. Have Retro City Games first, and they have a ton of Super Nintendo sort of stuff. Super Nintendo games. Yeah, it looks like they might have some signs as well for sale from their what we saw on their Facebook. So we'll see. But for now, we are hungry. Let's get some eggs. I got some chorizo scrambled egg thing. Cody got some steak and eggs. It's gonna be good. Delicious. So we are at Cody's place. Hello. In Vegas, and there's video games everywhere, so ignore that. But um, he did have two boxes of manuals that I needed for my collection, so I'm gonna be picking these up from him. And uh, if I can remember, I'll look for cartridges while we're out today, but that is awesome. Two more off the list. This is all the other stuff that I picked up yesterday. Here's my pile. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some of the stuff I don't think we got to show because it was raining, but the, the super scope in the box, the, the master system, there's some cool stuff. Yeah, it's been an incredible trip. So, what is our first stop today? First stop is Retro City Games. The uh, So if you ever visit Las Vegas, by the way, Retro City Games Town Center is what it's called, slightly south of the Strip. It's too, sh <laughs> it's too hot to walk, but you could easily visit there. It's like five minutes away from the Strip, so. It's the number one game store to visit if you're visiting Las Vegas, for sure. All right, let's go. <laughs> We're gonna go there later. Later today or tomorrow? What is that? I don't know. No, later today, for sure. But... <laughs> what, what do they do there? I think it's a grocery store or something. All right, so we just parked and we're heading to our first store. It is over 100 degrees outside. Very, very warm. You're not going sunglasses? Uh, I just need to stare at my phone. <sighs> it's very warm out here, but luckily we're not going to be outside too, too much today. Just walking from the car to the stores and we have a little bit of a walk at this one, but we got sunscreen on. It's okay. So the guy was telling us that uh, he doesn't even have the, 
like the majority of the collection out yet. So there's a bunch of stuff in the back we get to look at. I'm excited. It's only 15 bucks. I bet I could talk Cody into buying that. So they just got in this huge collection. He said it was like the second biggest collection he's ever purchased and they're not even done processing it. So he let us go through all this and I found a huge stack of Super Nintendo games that I need out of this, out of this collection that they got. Um, probably like, I don't know, 15, 20 games. If you like PS1 games, you got some <laughs> casual Tales of Destinies, Codelica and Brigandine laying around. <laughs> all these games are awesome. I like this one, Hogs of War. Oh yeah. <laughs> With all the, all the pigs. But yeah, this is an insane collection. This is the stuff that they're still working on. Like all Game Boy, all Game Boy, all Game Boy, all Game Boy. It's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> so I found so much stuff. I feel like I need to stop looking until I get prices on my stack because it's not going to be cheap. And I'm kind of scared. Well, it looks like we're knocking off a ton of games from the list at this one stop, which is awesome. I'm super, super happy. All right, so we are about to leave here. This is what we picked up, but the music in here, I don't know, copyright, I don't know. We're gonna show you guys in a little bit, somewhere else. I can't even film the whole sign, it's too big. But here we are, the Pinball Museum. This is awesome, Pinball Hall of Fame. The Pinball Museum's in Oregon. I've never been. But oh, this is gonna be awesome. Hopefully, it's nice and chilly inside. Woo. Woo. It does feel good in here. Thank God. Pika. Oh man, this place is huge. You think you need one of these? I do need one of these. This is so cool. It's so small. I love it. Thank you. I would definitely, if one of these like popped up locally, I would definitely buy it. I would make room in the game room. I would get rid of all my PS2 stuff to make room for it if I had to, or something, something crazy. <laughs> oh, that's cool, Nightmare on Elm Street. Looks like this one's turned off though. That's so cool. Nicktoons Racing. Man, this place is huge. Do it, do it. You gotta like turn up the second it eats, it's pretty hard. Ten seconds. Ah! Okay, I'll try again, I'll try again. <laughs> I can get it, I can get it, I promise. He One did it! One second left on the clock. Professional. <laughs> yeah! Ah, oh, we should have put the troll in there. That's how you train a caterpie. This <laughs> pod will evolve now. So, a hard life lesson. whoever comes and wins the game next can get a free Pokemon. Do it. If you if you happen to do it and you win, you gotta let us know if it's in there. <laughs> That's cool. 
Never seen one like that before. And we got Donkey Kong. That's cool, the big, oh, yes. the big track with the ball. Dude, it's better. So, these are like the new machines, and they all like uh, hook up to the internet and they share scores online, and they have like leaderboards here. So, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I think this is the newest one. Oh, it looks like a series. It's like the Oh yeah, they're all they're all double seven. Godzilla. This is so cool. I love how many people are in here too. Foo Fighters. Four different Foo Fighters ones. What the heck? Oh, there's the best one. We found it. The first commercial arcade game. First ever coin operator. That is super cool. It's not working though, it looks like. <laughs> the sign's broken. Yeah, that's sad. Someone probably got pissed from the results. <laughs> just the grip string. Oh no, I don't know why you're recording me. This is all you. No, no. no, no this is all you're you. going first. I'm not even gonna go. Why? Alright. Oh, yeah, I can hear you. Don't look, I'm old. All right, here we go. Yeah, well, you'll see. Yeah, how to play is just squeeze it. It's not rocket surgery. Cody's turn. Oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite. Cody goes to the gym every day, and I have not gone to the gym in multiple years. I'm a five-year-old. Plus thirty. <laughs> oh, you don't have to hold it the whole time? I was trying to. <laughs> okay. My left hand is stronger than Cody's left hand. <laughs> what the heck? That's unexpected for sure. I think I might come Your average is definitely higher than mine, though. <laughs> we both suck. <laughs> enough, was not our main this, this one's for Abby. <laughs> says, says, my parents went to Las Vegas Pinball Hall of Fame and all I got was this lousy penny. <laughs> All right, second location. He said to he said to call him or text him to get all the good deals. Oh, yes, hey, here's the the statue that we have.
That's really cool. And so is this. Oh. This is not the one that I have. This is a different one. I would love to get it, but I'm not shipping that back. So this is a the second location of the first place we went to earlier. Um, and it's super hot outside and they were playing like copyrighted music. So we didn't want to film and show you guys at the last stop. Uh, we are definitely going to show you maybe right after this one. I'm not sure. Um, uh, Cody said there's like a place to sit down here. So maybe we can ask him to turn down the music just a little bit and then we can show you guys what we got from the last stop and this one. All right, we're finally ready to show you guys the stuff that we got from the first stop. And the second, Retro City Games, both of them. Uh, somebody gave me a Wall Street kit <laughs> to add to my collection. Uh, this is from a Twitch viewer, Busta, thank you very much. Busta, I don't have that game yet. You could have given it to me. Don't let him get it, no, <laughs> I need all of them. Uh, here you go. Uh, cool, so <laughs> most of this is yours. This came from the back room at the other place. It's the box, box only for the special edition uh, Ocarina of Time 3DS. Uh, there's no console in here, like I said, but uh, he just threw this in for free since I was purchasing some stuff, so that's really cool. I feel like we might already have this box only. Um, we don't, definitely don't have it complete, um, but I'm not sure. We have a lot of empty boxes, so we'll, we'll complete that one way or the other. Uh, I got Pikmin, the way it's made to be played on the Wii, believe it or not. Yes. Um, it originally came out on the GameCube, but the controls for this are like a hundred times better. So yep. this is definitely the way to do it. So much better on the Wii. Yeah. Um, so other than that, I just have Super Nintendo stuff. Um, I guess I'll show these. I got two for display only boxes for Vegas Stakes and Stunt Race FX. Not super exciting, but they're pretty cool. Um, these will go along with the, I have a four display only box of Yoshi's Story, or Yoshi, Yoshi's Island. Uh, so, pretty cool, adding to the Super Nintendo collection. Uh, more things for Twitch viewers, we got Xeno Gears, Legend of Lagaya, and Star Ocean, the second story on PS1. And for, for Ryan and Kyle, or er, for Kyle only, I picked up Top Gear Hyperbike, NHL Blaze of Steel 99, and Star Soldier. Kyle going for that full set. Uh, I just picked this up because we haven't had it forever and we get asked about it almost every day, I feel like. <laughs> Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbreak. And look how adorable that is. Complete in box and everything. <laughs> so. so I found a bunch of Super Nintendo games I needed at that first stop. Um, so I feel like I might have a few more items in here, so I'll just do like two at a time. Yeah, go for it. But I got Terminator 2, Judgment Day, and Mech Warrior 3050. So we knocked a ton off the list. I'm super excited about that. I think that. that's cool. I got Street Fighter 2. <laughs> little little hidden gem, you might call it. I got the Peacekeepers, which is pretty uncommon, and uh, Great Circus Mystery, starring Mickey Mouse. Okay, Mickey Mouse is cool, but I got Demi Kids Light and Dark version, completely box. Those are probably, oh yeah, <laughs> those are expensive. Um, and then I got uh, Mohawk and Headphone Jack and Super Buster Brothers, which is awesome. Those were kind of on my, I have like the list of what I need, then I have like a mental list of the ones that I really like to find, you know what I mean? Like the cooler ones, yeah, those were on my up, list of cooler to, games. You don't even have to consult the list. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alien Hominid, GameCube. So, to my recollection, like the first like, you know, indie-ish thing to make it to like real consoles. This felt like a win for like early internet to me, <laughs> in my recollection. Uh, I got pieces. Oh, this is yours. <laughs> and then also, uh, they were nice enough to separate this out and just sell me the box only, but that's Michael Jordan Chaos in the Windy City. I already have this game complete, but my box and manual are completely water damaged and thrashed. So this is a nice box upgrade. Uh, let's see, how about Dragon Warrior Monsters on the Game Boy Color, complete except missing the inner bit, but I have like an aftermarket inner bit to throw in there, no big deal. And then Excalibur 2097, and this one is missing the manual, but it's Super Ninja Boy, and that kind of sucks because uh, Minus World had two manuals for this. Oh really? But oh. I, didn't, I didn't know that I was going to need one. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, 
Uh, I just shoved that. Oh, I picked up a Kid Icarus Uprising. I keep trying to find a loose cart at a reasonable price, and that seems to be impossible. Until now, finally. I have every other piece in the big box in the stand, so nice. Finally complete. Uh, two more. Picked up Hook and James Bond Jr. These are all in really nice condition, too, for the most part. Very happy about that. Uh, Lunar Legend, the Game Boy Advance. I'm pretty good at getting stickers off boxes. I'm sure you are, too. Yeah. This, I'm sure you know, is kind of a pain in the butt sticker. It totally disintegrates when you do it, but yeah. it can be done. It's just a lot of effort. And then I have Madden 98. The last Madden on SNES. It's yeah. actually kind of hard to find. And I don't know if it's Axley or Axelay. I've always heard Axelay, but got that one. Wait, wait, maybe we can figure it out. On the back it says, kiss your Axelay goodbye. Uh, I guess that doesn't help. <laughs> uh, all right, we got Tales of Fantasia, Game Boy Advance. We actually didn't even check like what's all inside yeah, all we, these, we, but they've been consistently nice. So. I didn't open any of the Super Nintendo ones. They're all very heavy, so they feel like they're complete. Um, and then the, the one was marked as no manual, but that one was out on the shelf. These were from the back, and they hadn't like processed them yet, so I, I'm hoping that they're all complete. Um, the last two games for me, though, Strike Gunner and Fatal Fury. Is your last two? From the first stop. Oh, okay. I still have everything from this oh stop. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well. Are uh, you about done? I just have big boys left. Okay. You didn't um, show this, though. Here's his last one. Well. Oh. I guess from the first stop, oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, my last thing, I got the Super Nintendo Model 2, the Mini, the Junior, whatever you want to call it. It's a Kirby bundle, which is pretty cool. I have I have a Model 2 Super Nintendo, but it's just a standard one that doesn't come with the game. So, cool little variant. Um, it looks like it maybe doesn't have a cardboard insert, which I did not know that, <laughs> or a styrofoam insert. Uh, but if I remember right, this makes your seventh inbox Super Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> At least seven. Go ahead, keep going. I'm just gonna hold this. Okay. I got some some big boys to end on. Okay, so from from this show with Caterpie. from this stop for Ryan, we grabbed the box of manual for Red Alarm, and then for Kat, for Kyle Castlevania, and then um, for my collection, picked up Gem Smashers and Nikolai's pencil pencil puzzle, and then a couple games for the store. We got Mario Kart and Mario All-Stars for Super, Jeff Force Gemini, and No Mercy. It's not the Dash one. No. And I actually found a couple more Super Nintendo games. I needed as well. This guy. Found three more here. These ones aren't as exciting, but Super Base is loaded too. College Football USA 97. And Super Alfred Chicken. Hey! Yeah, you were just talking about yeah. that. Yeah. It's not very expensive. No, not I, for some reason I thought it was, but I think the NES one is expensive, right? What if it's got three posters, so. if, it, if it doesn't, I'm returning it. Here we got two on for the PS2. That is a big boy game. Yeah. And, uh, Octai 1 and 2. Those are also big. You had both of those at your house in the box already. And then I got more. <laughs> Ta-da! Alright, so that's everything from first two stops. Let's continue on. We are at We Play Games. One of two locations. It sounds like we might skip the other one just because it's boiling hot out here and they didn't like Cody filming last time. So this is what I was saying is like, this is kind of a model of your dream store of like everything. Yeah? They, yeah, you'll see. They do it all. It's, it's pretty nice. Sweet. Well, Every time we go to other game stores, I'm always looking for things that they're doing that we're not that I can implement. And I'm looking for things that they're doing that I don't like and we avoid. <laughs> I think that Super Smash games in Tacoma has one of these giant things. One of these, and they have amiibo hanging from it all the way around. Yeah, this place is huge. This is cool. Metapod? We're looking for Butterfree now. He's already a Metapod. Oh. So I did find one game out of here that I need. It's Lester the Unlikely. They have another game I don't have, but it's sealed. And the price difference between complete and sealed is really, really big. And I, I don't want to 
don't want to spend 50 bucks. They also have all sorts of board games and tabletop stuff. There's like the, the paint and all that. Yeah, this place is cool. Got the Star Wars ships hanging. You got a little bit of everything. And comic books. And trading card stuff. Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Looks like just a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where's the other stuff? Is this magic? Yep, magic cards. Oh, jeez. This keeps going. <laughs> okay, where's the Pokemon cards then? Oh, here we are. This is what we want to see. They got a lot. Those are so cool. I love stuff like that. There's a jungle booster. I wonder how much that is. We found all the Charizards. All right, so I got one thing that is Lester the Unlikely for Super Nintendo. One, one more off the list. Um, and then, unfortunately, Cody wasn't able to find anything. They have that Zelda Game & Watch, which is on the list for Switch person, but um, it was having some issues, so. So sad. I wonder if they would have sold this in the list. You wanna ask? I'm pretty sure I can fix it. He's gonna go ask. And then, let's go get something to drink. Right upstairs there is Grand Line Video Games. After a quick half an hour drive, Ooh, and a stop at Dutch Brothers to get some some very cold drinks. Now we're here. We gotta go upstairs though. Hopefully they let us film. Right, so at that last place, unfortunately, we didn't find much. So now we are at Game Repair. Let's see what they have. So there, you mind pulling those out for me? I got oh, yeah, two you things. Got, you got uh, some pretty sick <laughs> games in here. First up, Bubsy 2, baby. Heck yeah. I got the box and manual from Cody. It's even better. Reader Rabbit Kindergarten. You're yeah. welcome for spotting that bad boy. Heck yeah. If you guys don't know, there's four Reader Rabbit games on Wii, and they're not expensive, but they're super hard to find, and I know someone's going to want that. Oh, cool, it's all the manga. Neat. Cool little comic store. They got some figures and stuff. 
and some manga. Ooh. People love it when you call it that. Who's my favorite manga? Uh, Zoldor. I'm just gonna film around. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> what up? Were you saying something? No. <laughs> this is the second time. We are at Collector's Source though. And then what was your name? My name's Chris. Chris. Chris <laughs> said that he has seen our videos, which is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so. I love watching, they're funny as hell. <laughs> so this is what I'm getting so far. We got Jungle Book Manual, Heavy Shredding Manual, and this really cool Nintendo 64, like, pencil pouch thing. I don't really know what to call it, but it's awesome, and I need it. Can I get this Mario Party 9, please? Yeah, sure. Mario? Mm. Also, how much is the Spice Orange controller in the box? In box? Um, I'm at 80 right now, but if you want to talk to me about it, I'm not against talking about it. You should get it. Okay. It's so cool. People do like the controller, and very few people say, Finally, the box, so I can hide <laughs> the controller away. <laughs> I, do have a, I would uh, say it. I do have a loose one too. I do have a loose one too that I do at like 35. I would take that. A loose one? Yeah. I knew it. And grab that for you. <laughs> the game world. Oh, I don't even see this. This like yeah. giant banner. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> so, so what'd you get? Uh, I got this because I thought it looked like a joke. Jambo Safari Rescue. But then you see the Sega logo. Apparently it's actually pretty darn fun. Someone described <laughs> it as crazy taxi, but you're roping down animals. <laughs> uh, I got an orange GameCube controller. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. And then we got a... Mario Party 9 for one of the Twitch viewers. Awesome. And I showed you guys what I found, but then I found Nintendo Power I needed. This is volume 111, and it does have the awesome Pokemon poster. All right, guys. This is probably our last stop for today because I guess there's no more stores. <laughs> so we're at uh, Zia Record Exchange. They have games as well. And after this, we're going to be getting some dinner. I'm super excited. It's super hot, and we're hungry. This place is really big as well. Oh, they're right here. Video games. They have a mini rare case at the counter and also unprocessed things at the counter, so. All right. Ask them about it. There's a little uh, thing with like Game Boy games in it too. We're pretty much just looking at the games here, so I'm probably not gonna walk around the whole store and film it, but here you go. So we just left. Um, unfortunately, neither of us found anything at this one, and that was our last stop for today. But we're gonna go eat, and uh, I'll try to film a little bit of that. <laughs> so, unless you want to go to Cash America real quick, it's right there. Cash America, right here. We'll walk over here. We'll jump Walking the wall. In 108 degree weather. I don't know if you can see that, <laughs> but it's, yeah, 108. You have to trust me. It is crazy, and it was even hotter earlier. It was 121. <laughs> Right? At the hottest that we saw? Crazy. But I guess Cash America will be our last stop. Then we're going to go get some food. So we didn't find anything at that Cash America, unfortunately. And now we are here to eat at 888 Korean Barbecue. This is going to be delicious and I cannot wait. Cody just ended the live stream. So for those of you who watch the live stream, you get a little extra by watching this video. Just kidding. Wait was 197 minutes. So we're going somewhere else.
We're gonna try this place. Yeah, eight ounces. Great. Place. It's better because they have Luigi. <laughs> We're finally set. We're looking at getting the small beef combo. You get beef brisket, you get the marinated beef short rib, and then we're gonna get the seasoned boneless short rib. I forgot the film, we've already been eating, but <laughs> we got some delicious good. ribs here. Yeah. Yeah, really, really good. Got all, all this stuff. Cody's pretty much eating all the extra stuff. I'm just here for the meats. <laughs> Very, very good though. We just walked into an arcade that was right around the corner from uh, from where we ate. Look at all the Kirby's. <laughs> this looks really cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> That looks fun. <laughs> is this? Monster Hunter uh, Pookie Racing. <laughs> <laughs> this is really cool. Looks pretty big too. So it's a mix of a rhythm game and a shoot em up. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can see him right there. I didn't know that this existed though. That's so cool. They got out. I just want this. I just want this cover right here. This is so freaking awesome. I'm gonna get one of these for the game room. <laughs> You a big fan of Luigi's Mansion? I'm a big Luigi fan. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. That's so cool though. Man. Hey, peeps. Well, that, uh, that arcade is awesome. We didn't play anything, but we did look at everything and there's some cool stuff. I think uh, we're gonna end it here because we're just going back home now, right? Yep. So tomorrow is kind of a, a break day. Um, so I don't think that we're gonna I don't think there's gonna be anything really to film tomorrow. So, um, the I guess the, the next video will just be uh, two days of LA, right? Great south. Or the LA area. It should be a very interesting two days. Yeah, we are getting up really early Saturday morning to go game hunting with the Pixel Game Squad guys. We're going to the flea market with them, which is gonna be super cool. And then the next day, we are going to check out uh, Bobby's warehouse, You've probably seen Pixel Game Squad did a video there. Uh, I think John Riggs did a video there and uh, some other people. So now it's our turn. So I guess uh, that's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in LA in the next one.